today on Karamo. It was a physical dispute between two cousins. He hit you in the face? That wisdom says resulted in her having a miscarriage. She said, I killed her baby? Is there any way these former close family members I killed your baby? You, wait, I, I killed your baby. baby. You swore by to her. I you. you. Can find a way to come back together? Plus, and he broke somebody's window. Mike doesn't let his wife have her own phone. No phone? That's not allowed. It's a wife who has been emotionally broken down. I don't deserve this. I deserve better than this. And a husband. You had a confession that you also wanted to share? Uh, oh, really? Who has been doing the unthinkable. <laughs> this is another context. Me and you would have a situation. Wisdom says she and her cousin Brendan were always best friends until she claims he physically assaulted her, causing her to have a miscarriage. He refuses to take responsibility, and she is here to see if I can help save their relationship. Everyone, please help me welcome Wisdom to the show. Hi, Wisdom. Hi. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. How are you? May I have a hug? Nice to meet you. Take a you seat. Really good. Thank you. You as well. You look cute too. Please tell me what happened between you and your cousin. Oh uh, well, we were actually getting ready for my sister baby shower okay. the day that we end up getting into it. Um, he was on the phone with somebody that I'd never seen before. I don't know who it was or whatever, but um, I just started to have conversation with him and the girl. She like butted into the conversation. Mm -hmm. So my first reaction is, who who is she talking to? Because I'm talking to him, you know. Right then and there, it just became a little tobacco because I really don't, like I said, I never seen her before, never heard of her before. So for you to be defending her on the phone because me and her start getting into it, I, it just made me mad. So me and him start getting into it, you mm -hmm. know, and he starts saying like, I always do this, I always, you know, cause the problem, I always arguing or something like that or having an attitude basically. Um, do you have an attitude? I got a small problem. Okay. A small, <laughs> a small attitude problem. Um, but it it really, honestly, this was a good day. It wasn't nothing like that. You know, yeah. it was all celebration. Mm -hmm. It was family there. Um, but I just told him to go outside. He gets outside, and he get louder. Mm -hmm. He get louder. He starts talking about, this is why I don't nobody mess with you. This is why I don't nobody talk to you. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Um, because I'm always, I'm not going to say aggressive. I just, I don't know how to say it. Um, <laughs> We I get, get right it. to the point. Well, get I get to right the to the point. Yeah, you know, okay. I don't do all the extra, the talking and stuff like that. So I get up to go to the door, and I walk to him like this. He here. I, I'm walking to the door. He says that he felt like I was charging at him, and he just hauled off and punched me in my face. Oh. Yeah. He hit you in the face? Yeah. He punched me, and we what just started. What happened start, he hit you? We start boxing. We start fighting. And, yeah, he, he's six feet. He's six feet compared to me. I'm 5'3". And, you know, everybody just let it happen because, like I said, this is a family function, you know. Um, we end Everyone up just let it happen? Like, y'all two fighting there? Yeah. This man hitting your face? Okay. This is normal. The fighting part is not new, you know. So I can't say, like, that's the biggest issue. But where we were, the setting that we were in, you know, the time, the place, and then the situation, it wasn't that big of a situation to do all that for. Um, then come to find out, he had got on the phone, he went to my mom's house, you know, telling everybody what happened. His side of the story, which I appreciate him telling the truth because he told the truth that, you know, he put his hands on me first, but nobody told him he was wrong, you know? Mm. Nobody told him, like, you know, the, the situation got to where it was, and we know wisdom will do this, she will do that, but you were wrong as well. Nobody did that. And we end up going to my mom's house after we left the baby shower just to, you know, celebrate, kick it, have fun. And I came up, and everybody was already, you know, had an attitude or had felt some way about me because they felt like it was my fault, you know? So, question for you, because you were pregnant. Did I you, didn't know, You though. didn't know you were pregnant yeah. at the time. Mm -mm. Okay, then. So, what happened the next day? After, um, after all that, the next day I was at home, I just got up that morning and I was bleeding. And I know that um, I had previously already had my cycle, so I, I already know that that wasn't it, you know, a period. Mm -hmm. And I've already had a miscarriage before. So that's just the first thing that it kind of took me to. So I figured that was it. And I just, I went ahead and took a test and that's how I found out. And you found out you were pregnant. Mm -hmm. Did you tell Brendan about the miscarriage? No, because we hadn't been talking and honestly, it was just something that I was just going through. You know, I, I really didn't tell anybody because I felt like if anybody already felt some type of way, they would have reached out. Nobody reached out, you know? Everybody know what happened. And I understand I'm, 
I am going to swing first. I am the person that always, I'm, I'm not going to sit and talk. We're not going to do none of that. So I understand everybody presuming that it was me or it was my fault, but nobody checked on me, you know? So I didn't feel like it was necessary for me to reach out and be like, Got he it. did this to me. And, you know, then it would be just a cry for help. And, yeah, I didn't want that. What was wrong with having a cry for help? Just my family, I feel like we just all just now getting to a point where mental health is important to us, you know? Like, my mom and her, her siblings, they, they didn't know, they didn't care for that. But me and my cousins and my siblings, we finally have the knowledge, you know, nowadays that we need to know what is actually wrong with us, you know, stuff like that. So. But it's just, I don't feel like I would get that, that same support. Yeah, I yeah. felt like right after that happened, I needed that support when I came to my mom's house. You know, yeah. nobody knew what happened from my side, but they came, let him tell his story, and they had their minds made up, you yeah. know? Did he ever apologize to you? No, we never have talked about it. Got it, got it. So how has your relationship been with him since? Nothing. Brendan, he is like my confidant, him and his mom, you know? And we already grew up tight, so it was just, it was hard for me to do it by myself. He's always been there, you know, vice versa. You know, growing up, him being in his situation, that's his story to tell, it's not for me to tell, but I've always been there for him, you know? But do you feel like the fight is what caused the miscarriage to happen? Oh, because yeah, definitely. Definitely. Because, I, I mean, I was already almost six weeks, so at that point, without us knowing, I was living regular, moving regular. There's, there was nothing else that could have happened until then. Yeah, so and we he, fought pretty hard. So. Yeah, so if he would have never thrown that first punch, in your opinion. Yeah, I feel like it could have it been dead. Like, it was just, it wasn't that serious because I don't know her and she don't know me from a can of paint. Mm -hmm. So I don't care for her. But I'm going to let you know that I don't like how you disrespected me behind your friend. Got it. You know? And it, it would have really been left at that. Well, I'll tell you this. Your cousin, your cousin Brendan tells a different story. So I want y'all to see what he said before the show. Karamo, I have something to say. She said I killed her baby, but maybe it was that eight shots of Crown Royal that she took that day. Out of control, drunk, and belligerent. She said I attacked her. Hmm, more like her drunk ass attacked me. I just had to defend myself. She was out there getting messy with that bottle in her hand at that baby shower. He is lying. Well, I want to hear what Brendan has to say. And we already he heard drinks, one part of this. He drink, he well, drink everyone, like me. Everyone, please welcome Brendan to the we show. We all drink the same. Mrs. We all drink the same. Drink the same. Drink the same. Drink the same. I'm for real. You drink like this for you. No, I do not. Yes, you do. Everybody likes to know. Eight shots. But I killed your baby. Eight shots. But I killed your baby. I killed your baby. You didn't tell nobody though. Uh, I didn't. You? Who? So you didn't tell my best friend? Your best friend. My best friend didn't call my phone. After the fact. After the fact. After the fact. I was that. drinking before. You're saying you that I was drinking before. Drinking I was drinking at the you. party. What are you but, talking but about? But you're saying so. before. Yeah, you was. I talked to your okay. best friend after that happened. Yeah, about the miscarriage. What are you talking about? What that got to do with me drinking? Okay, whatever. Nothing. That has nothing to do with me drinking. I didn't lose my best friend. 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 I didn't Wisdom out of nowhere. It was a physical dispute. You swung right. fight to her, you I'll attack you. You. you! That wisdom says resulted in her having a miscarriage. Well, how did that make you feel when you heard that? Yeah, it was a lot, but at the time I was going through stuff too. Is there any way his mother... Y'all more siblings than your own siblings. ...can convince these cousins to come back together? I get up to go to the door and I walk to him like this. He says that he feel like I was charging at him and he just hauled off and punched me in my face. You were pregnant. Did I you, didn't know you though. You didn't know you were pregnant yeah. at the time. After all that, the next day I was at home, I just got up that morning and I was bleeding and I've already had a miscarriage before. So that's just the first thing that it kind of took me to. So I figured that was it. But do you feel like the fight is what caused the miscarriage to happen? Oh because yeah, definitely. She said, I killed her baby? But maybe it was that eight shots that she took that day. Out of control, drunk, and belligerent. I didn't lose my baby from alcohol. Okay. I lost my baby because you put okay. your hands on me. Brendan, thank you so much for being here. You want to take a seat? I did speak to his best friend after the fact because his best friend called me and told me, Brendan messed up about what happened. I told him, I don't want to hear that from you. Do you think you're responsible at all for the miscarriage? No. Not at all? I don't. So did you attack her? No, she attacked me and I just defended myself. Okay. I walked up to you. 
I walk up, I walk up to you and you punch me in my face. Yeah. Oh, you swung right to her, you I'll didn't, attack no, you. you. You didn't walk up to me, How I attack you, you then? Didn't, you didn't walk up to how, me. What is an attack? You, you didn't walk up to me. You can't even give you me a definition. Never came up to me. What is an attack? You should never came up to me. Walking really up to you is matter. not attacking me. So from, you, your, you from were, your point you of view, running. what happened? So basically I what was happened running. was, I was, I, actually, I was actually on the phone with my friend. Um, to be exact, I was talking to my friend about proposing to my boyfriend. Okay. I told her to give me a few months. When I said that, Wisdom said a few months for what? And I said, oh, you all in our business. My friend replied and said the same thing. Wisdom, How is you talking to somebody wisdom, about engaging somebody? Somebody wisdom, you don't even talk to on a regular basis. I do. She do my makeup all the time. Let me shut up. But anyway, you, you talking to somebody, um, you talking to somebody you went to anyway, cosmetology school with about okay, proposing, okay, but not your best friend. But anyway, just coming up anyway with but like I was saying, though, she said that wisdom out of nowhere. Who this bitch talking to you, bum ass bitch? Da -da 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 -da. So basically, <laughs> Um, she was like, you can go outside and talk to the bitch. I said, I will then. I literally got up, and she's coming at me. I mean, coming at me fast. So, of course, like I said, we have always fought. Show him coming. You're what is coming fast? What's coming fast? Fast? What do you mean, fast? It don't matter. Whether you walk Is that still a walk? That's still I, a walk. I really don't care. That's still like a little no, quick walk. walk. In the moment. But in like the moment. she said, okay. though, we're moment. always fighting. Got it. It's always, always a point where we argue. If somebody is coming up to you, of course I'm... What's up? Like, don't come to me, girl. The boy, it really look doesn't at matter. Him. Look at him, a grown man, and look at me. We I'm grown man. I'm five three. I got yeah. on the little hill. Look at him and look at me. I'm walking up. What? What are you talking about? You punching down at me. What are you talking about? I did hit her. I did. Okay. okay. I did. She okay. shouldn't be coming at me though. She didn't have no reason to get up. So what did she say to you on the day of the fight? She called me a dirty. <laughs> she told me to. <laughs> she called me a bum. She said that I need Jesus. And all this other stuff. Like, she literally, like, showed her ass. Mm. And I didn't give a Can I with, ask you a question? Because uh -huh. I, mean, nah, I got the details on that. How did you find out she lost the baby? My best friend called me one day. And how did that make you feel when you heard that? I don't even know, honestly. Um, her child now, I was in the delivery room with her. Got it. I slept on the floor for two days for her. <laughs> Here you go, boo. Here you go, babe. And so hearing that, yeah, it was a lot. But at the time, I was going through stuff, too, also. Mm -hmm. And I had to put myself first. Got it. Got it. She had people around her, whether she went to them or not. Mm -hmm. I was homeless, didn't have a job. And at the time, my car was in the shop for five weeks. Down. I begged him to come live with me in my apartment. But regardless of all of that, I was still there for him. I wasn't prying on him or none of that, but I begged him to come stay with me. You can use my car, you can go to work. All of that, we, I, I offered him all of that. Yeah. So for him to say he didn't have nobody, he has somebody too. So your relationship, has, your relationship has been strained since then? Correct, and I have not talked to her. Yeah, do you miss her? I do. I know, I can see the tears. Do you miss him? Mm -hmm. Brendan, your mother Tasha is here. My producer told me she's crying right now because she basically raised wisdom as a daughter as well. Um, so everyone, please welcome Tasha to the show. Oh my God, y'all got to get this together. I can't, I can't deal with this. Y'all, y'all are like brother and sister. Y'all more siblings than your own siblings. You was not there for me. Is there any way these cousins can come back together? Do you feel like you can give her an apology for throwing that first punch? Stay tuned. Plus, it's a wife who has been emotionally broken down. I deserve better than this. And a husband. You had a confession that you also wanted to share? Uh, oh, really? Who has been doing the unthinkable. Do you think you're responsible you at all for the miscarriage? I don't. So did you attack her? No, she attacked me and I just defended myself. How did you find out she lost the baby? My best friend called me one day. And so hearing that, yeah, it was a lot. But at the time, I was going through stuff too also. Brendan, your mother Tasha is here. Oh my God, y'all got to get this together. Y'all more siblings than your own siblings. Can you take a seat for me? Thank mm -hmm. you so much for being here. The accusation is that she thinks that your son is the reason that she lost her child. How do you feel about that? I don't know. It's a big accusation, and I, I wasn't there. However, she done did this before. 
I don't know if you remember. But one of his friends before was in there laughing about something, and she was angry, and she asked him, what are you laughing about? And she He's jumped up, it. ran to him, fighting him. Mm -hmm. So I do see why, because when, when they were saying this, I said, oh, this is the same thing same that thing happened, happened last before. time. Mm -hmm. And she is like a Tasmanian devil. <laughs> like, when she jump up and come for you, it's coming quick. Mm -hmm. So he might have not know what was coming. Were you close with your niece growing up? Yes, they lived, basically lived in my house all the time. Got so it. yes, I, I raised my like siblings, um, always together, school, home, everything. Mm -hmm. um, holidays, everything, Yeah, always together. What do you want to happen today? I want them to mend it. Yeah. I want them to get back on track <laughs> the way they was. Um, yeah. No fake emotions. Yeah. Um, you know, love. Now, the thing with these two, I don't think there's ever going to be fake emotions. Y'all wear your heart on your sleeve, whether Thank it's you. good, bad, or in between. Y'all going to say what's on your mind. <laughs> which, 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 can be, which can be difficult, but there's also a healthy side of that because y'all always talking. And I'm going to start with this. Um, I'm so sorry that you went through that miscarriage. Can I just say, listen. You can say whatever. I know for sure I didn't have no eight shots because my bottle was this much, this much when I got to my mom's house that was open, that was going out the bottle. So four, no matter four or eight, at the time that it was, that is not going to make nobody start bleeding and have no miscarriage. Yeah. So I do think what needs to happen here is an apology for the first punch. Because yes, I feel like both of y'all got attitudes. You can that. Brendan, both of y'all got attitudes. And I'm not saying she was right for being in your conversation, for being there and like over talking you and hearing your mom say that it's been a pattern where she got upset before. But because of the love I just saw you exhibit right here, where you said you slept on the ground, I know for a fact you would love to protect her. You are a protector for her. And throwing a punch is not something you do to protect somebody you love. And so with that being said, do you feel like you can give her an apology for throwing that first punch? Yes. You can go for it. With, I really apologize for punching you. And I, sh I didn't know. You never, you never know with you. But of course, it wasn't right for me. I am a man at the end of the day. And I should have just probably let you hit me if you was going to, remove myself, ran away. But punching you wasn't the right thing to do. Mm. Can you accept that apology? I accept the apology. My only thing is, that's not where my heart is at. You know what I'm saying? Like, we already have established. We fight all the time. It's nothing for you to hit me. I'm not, y'all, we know what we did. We know what it is. I'm not worried about that. It's, you was not there for me. Yeah. Even after you found out you didn't do nothing, even regardless of, okay, sorry, you hit me. Okay, you hit me. You done hit me before. You know what I'm saying? But even after you found out, whether you're going through something or not, you know, even before then, I was going through stuff. You was not there. You didn't even try. Can I tell you something? You said something earlier that I wrote down immediately, which you said, I can't say fighting is the biggest issue anymore. And you just repeated right now. You said, like, I don't care if the through the first part. We've done this before. But that is the biggest issue. Because the, the physical violence then translates into this place where emotionally and mentally you shut down. And just because in that moment you were able to bounce back like you've done before, which is an unhealthy trait. Sometimes we think because we're able to bounce back and talk and kiki again, it's like, oh, it's healthy. It's one of the most unhealthiest traits. And so what happened is that moment, you wanted him to bounce back. You wanted him to do, you wanted him to, to continue the unhealthy behavior, bounce back and say, oh, yeah, we friends again. Okay, yeah, we fought, whatever. And he put a boundary up whether you did it intentionally or not, to say, I don't want to bounce back quickly like that. So I want you to take that language out of your mouth of saying, like, fighting is not the issue. Fighting is the issue. <laughs> fighting is affecting your mental health. Fighting is affecting your emotional state. And I know he wasn't there for you, and I know it hurt, but I think it was a great wake-up call for both of y'all that y'all can't continue that cycle of fighting and then making up. Y'all gotta stop talking to each other in a, a mean way. Y'all been fighting the world. Y'all don't need to be fighting each other. Yeah. And the next time one of y'all catch an attitude, I want y'all to say that to each other. I'm gonna have y'all say it right now. We fight the world, we not fighting each other. Say, I fight the world, I'm not fighting you. I, I fight the world, world I'm, I'm not fighting, fighting you. you. Boom. Every time one of y'all catch that attitude, Say that. 
You hear me? And y'all gonna be all right. Give your cousin a hug. Give y'all cousin a hug. No phone? That's not allowed. It's a wife who has been emotionally broken down. I don't deserve this. I deserve better than this. And a husband. You had a confession that you also wanted to share? Oh, uh, oh, really? Who has been doing the unthinkable. <laughs> you low down and dirty. <laughs> you low down and dirty. You are the cop. Get off my stage. Christina says her husband, Mike, moved another woman into their house last year without her consent. She was fearful that he was cheating on her with the surprise new roommate, and they eventually separated. When they reconciled, a month later, she found out he had another woman pregnant. And now she wants my help to unlock his phone to see if her marriage is worth saving. Everyone, please help me welcome Christina to the show. Hi, Christina. How are you? Can I have a hug? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can see the emotions already. <laughs> this is hard for you. Yeah, it is. It yeah. is. Yeah. <laughs> Very hard. So when did the problem start between you and your husband? It started um, six months ago when I first met him. Yeah. Everything was so perfectly fine, you know. He was so romantic to me, so just so loving, you know. He had that that smile, you know, and yeah. you know, he had the, the bedroom eyes. I fell for that too. Yeah. You know, that was he was it just it, something about him. Just yeah, so it felt amazing. good. Uh -huh. So you've been together for how long now? I said about five years. But you got together, and then within like six months, y'all yeah. got married? Yes, yeah, six, six months. months. Wow, okay, so y'all yes. knew it was love. Oh, quickly. yeah, it was love at mm -hmm. first sight. So my producer told me that he accused you of cheating with a coworker. Oh, yes. It was just a, a friendly conversation. And I admit I was being flirtatious, but it was just, you know, far, you know it was nothing bad. It, he accused me of. Uh, just like sleeping with him and how does that make you feel with him it accusing? just made me feel worthless as a person what made you decide to separate he brought a woman into our house she was a prostitute she, she was a prostitute yes a prostitute is like is that a confer like she actually was a sex worker or you just assume uh she um would go online and and find men and just bring and call them and bring them into our home and when did you get back together a month after why did you get back together you know, I want to make my marriage work. So I just want to make my marriage work. Yeah. You know, I don't like failed marriages at all. You don't like failed marriages? Mm -hmm. Have you ever been married before? No, this is my first marriage. And you wanted to be your last? Yes, I wanted to be my last. Mm -hmm. Okay. How did you find out that he had a, another girl pregnant? Well, he just came out and told me. Got it. I, I and y'all weren't separated this time? Oh, we were separated. Well, you were separate? Oh, yes. How long were yes. you separated? For uh, Probably for like two, three months. So yes. in two, three months, he got... He did, yeah. Another woman oh, pregnant. Oh, sure did. You're you're not sure if you believe that. I though. don't. I don't believe that at all. I don't know if it's just rumors. So why don't you believe it? I just don't. I just don't. What I, does he say? He tells me that he got her pregnant, but okay. I don't believe it. There's no proof. Did you two want children together? No. You don't, I don't. want any. Mm -mm, I don't want any. I understand. No. And why don't you have a job right now, my producer? He won't me? let me have no job. Okay. No job. Can't have no friends. Nothing, no phone. No phone? No phone. Why won't you be able to have a phone? Because he thinks I'm, uh, that I'm going to cheat on my phone. Got it. Yes, yes. I deleted all my social media, everything. I have. So is he allowed to have a phone? He has, he has a phone. He has okay. social media. He has everything on his phone. Have you ever confronted him about your feelings? I try doing that. And what did he say? <laughs> he breaks me down. I get yelled at. Uh -huh. Get talked to any type of way. He tells me I'm worthless. I'm nothing. How often does he do that? Every day. Every day. Okay. Yeah. And you wanted me to unlock his phone. Yes. What are you hoping that I'll find in the phone? I'm just hope. I'm praying that he's not cheating on me. Because mm -hmm. not... if you find out he's cheating on you, are you going to stay? Mm -mm. Yeah. No. Because I don't deserve this at all. I do not deserve this. I am a woman. At the end of the day, I'm a woman. You don't deserve this. I don't. I don't yeah. deserve none of this. Yeah. Here you go, love. Thank you. You're welcome. 
All right, well, listen, everyone. I want to meet your husband. Um, so, everyone, please help me welcome Christina's husband, Mike, to the show. Lies. We don't know his Whatever. Side. Whatever. Lies. Man, you whatever. All right. So you heard what happened here. So how do you feel about what you just heard? Oh, I was never, I'm not controlling at all. I just control he the lying. relationship. He is controlling. You flipped out about that. Mike doesn't let his wife have her own phone. That's not allowed. Are you allowed to have social media? I started by getting on social media. But he does have a confession. <laughs> that will have his wife questioning every part of their marriage. He won't let me have no job. Okay. No job, can't have no friends, no phone. He breaks me down. I get yelled at, uh -huh. get talked to any type of way. You know, I want to make my marriage work. And you wanted me to unlock his phone? Yes, I'm praying that he's not cheating on me. So you heard what happened here. So how do you feel about what you just heard? Oh, I was never, I'm not controlling at all. I just control yeah, the relationship. He is controlling. So you said you're not controlling, but you just control the relationship? Yeah. Okay. Since you said you don't control her, what do you do to control the relationship? Well, control the relationship, I do things like uh, keep the phone away from her, you know. Uh, I might check emails. Hold on. This is something else I want to say. He came up to my job, and he broke somebody's window. You broke somebody's window yes, at the job? Yes, he did. He came up. That's true. Okay. Why did you break their window? Because I didn't know if that was the guy car she was hanging out with, or what was the case. It so was a woman, not a out man. Of angry. Out of anger, I just, I, I took a break and shattered the first So window. do you think this behavior is okay? Uh, kind of, I feel like, it's, as a man, point of view, I'm a man of the house, it's my rules, I think I should, you know. It's not okay. When did this controlling behavior of the relationship start? Um, immediately, within the first two months of the relationship, I made her delete her Instagram because I was seeing notifications. I say, well, actually, how you have social media and we in a, we in a, we in a relationship, um, that's not allowed. You're 34 years old, right? So you're young and you know that social media is a part of our culture now. So for you to say she has to delete it, I don't understand but why. But it's unfair. Are you allowed to have social media? I, I deleted mine, but then I, I started by getting on social media. <laughs> Tell me from your perspective, how did you meet your wife and what was it like? Okay, when I first met her, I fell in love right away. So um, I ended up spending the night with her, I believe. The second day, she goes to work and calls me like, I'm really in love with you. I think I'm ready to settle down. I want to marry you, actually, like, propose to me. So I immediately says, yes, I'm feeling the same way. Um, well, let's, let's do this, so. And then it was six months from that point y'all got married. You know, it took like three months. We got married right away. Three months it yeah. took married. So you got married within three months. Yes. Yes. And on the second yes. day, you said, yes. I'm ready for it, and you agreed to it. We agreed. OK. Yes. Do you feel like you rushed into this? We, we rushed, but I think it was like I didn't want to wait, and she didn't want to wait. OK. Um, have you two talked about having your own children? Um, no, because she, she couldn't have kids. She told me that. Oh, she OK. Couldn't have, kids. Yeah. couldn't have children. So you couldn't have children. So you knew that she couldn't have children. Um, is wanting a family something you wanted? Um, actually, I wanted to start a family. Mm -hmm. At my age, I didn't want to get too old. Well, I'm like, no kids, so I just wanted something at that. I met her at 29. Got it. Um, and so you, you know that she can't have kids, but you want a kid, so why rush into a marriage with a woman who says she can't have kids? Yeah. You know you have kids. Right. Because it, it was like I really loved, I loved, I fell in love with her, and she was telling me she loved me, me, and he she's ready to get me. married. Trust me, he don't. What, 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 don't. I want to know back, because you said, you know, that you just control the relationship. What do you think a man's role is in a marriage? To provide for the woman, protect her safety, make sure she's okay, um, you know, no infidelity in the relationship, things like that. Okay. So why did you move another woman into your house without her permission then? Do you think that keeps her safe? Uh, yes and no. Okay. Is that also... <laughs> Does that lead to the infidelity? It could be. From your words of what you said a role of a man should be in a relationship, you're kind of breaking them just even by just moving that woman in. Yeah. Yeah. No? Okay. Why did you separate? Okay, so um, the roommate, she's in, she didn't want another woman in the house. I thought we had already agreed that I was going to bring in the roommate. So did you agree to it? No, I didn't agree to that. Uh -huh. I never want her in my house in the first place because she was no good. So then why does he think that? <laughs>
Did she tell you that you could have the roommate? Well, we had a, and we interviewed a few roommates. So there was a conversation about bringing someone in. It's yeah. just that you didn't decide, you didn't have a mutual agreement, and he just decided to pick one. Just to pick one. Okay. Um, have you been cheating on her since you got back together six months ago? <laughs> Not at all. Not at all? I don't know that. Not at all. So you're accusing her of cheating, but you won't let her have a phone. So we couldn't unlock her phone to find out if she was or not. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The interesting part is that my producers gave her a phone so that she could contact us just while y'all were here so we could get in contact about mm -hmm. the story and bring you in to talk to you all. And you flipped out about that. Mike's phone will be unlocked next. Ooh, let me see. And that will set off a series of events. You had a confession that you also wanted to share? Oh. That will have Christina questioning every part of her marriage. If this is another context, me and you would have a situation. You are the cop. Get off my stage. Well, control a relationship, I do things like uh, keep the phone away from her. You know, uh, I might check emails. I'm a man of the house, it's my rules. I think I should, you know. It's not okay. So you're accusing her of cheating, but you won't let her have a phone. So we couldn't unlock her phone to find out if she was or not. The interesting part is that my producers gave her a phone just while y'all were here so we could get in contact about mm. the story. And you flipped out about that. Why did you flip out about yes. that? Uh, no, yes. I was a little surprised about having a, a phone. I said, uh, it's a cell phone. Where did you get it? Yeah. She said, uh, the producers gave me the phone just to keep in contact. Kind of went he, left. And then he got mad at me because he thought I had the Wi-Fi on and it was never on. So you can't even have the Wi-Fi on? Yeah, I seen like Wi-Fi yes. signals on the phone. I didn't know whether she was on social media or what was the case. <laughs> mm. Okay. All right. Well, listen, the thing is that you have a lot of questions, um, Christina, yes. about what's going on with him, and you wanted me to unlock his phone. Yes, I All do. All right. You wanted to know if he was still in communication with women yes. um, that he was with while you were separated. Yes. Oh, and then there's another, that he got another woman pregnant. Oh, got it. Yes. Okay. All right, well, listen, um, we have the unlock the phone results right here. This is what was in your phone. So it's time, it's time to unlock the phone. All right, so... Christina, we went through um, text, phone, apps on Mike's phone. Christina, you want to know if Mike was still communicating with the woman he was with while you were separated. My Unlock the Phone investigator searched his text, and he is telling the truth. All right, my Unlock the Phone investigator then checked his phone because Mike told you that he deleted her information and was not in contact with her anymore. Mike is... Telling the truth. He has deleted her contact information. But then my Unlock the Phone investigator searched his apps, and we found two very interesting items. Wow. Let me see. On September 13th, he messaged and FaceTime called with someone on a dating app Ugh. who he asked to meet up with. Ooh, let me see. Then there was evidence. So this is the big one for me, because when you ask about if he's in communication with her, yes, he said he's not texting, yes, he deleted the thing, but then I asked my producers to ask you specifically, is there any way we could get in touch with her? Mm. And you said, yeah, I can get in touch with her. And then you okay. went through your cash app to contact her, oh. which then we then saw that you were still able to contact her through cash app. Wow. wow. Because if you were not communicating with wow. her at all, you would really? not have been able to. Really? Ooh. That was the only communication. Whatever. That's... But the point is not that it's the only communication. You said that you were not having any communication, and mm. we were able to see. Christina, what do, you, what do you think about all of this, and what do you want to say? What I want to say, this is, this is a dirty. I, I knew it. My intuition was right. You was, you've been talking to her. I asked you many a time, have you been talking to her? You said you deleted her number. She blocked me. I don't care. Blocking, it don't matter. You still talking to the girl. So basically, you still have communication with her. Since we've been back together, really? Don't. Well, hold on. My producers are telling Don't. me right now Don't. that, Mike, you had a confession that you also wanted to share. Oh, oh, really? What is it? 
Christina, I got a confession to make about the girl I got pregnant. I actually got her pregnant on purpose. The reason why I got her pregnant is because you can't have kids. You got your tubes tied and I wanted to start a family. So I figured that'd be the best option for me. You couldn't give me one. So I had to find someone else. And I'm hoping that the three of us have come together and learn to co-parent together. You low down and dirty. You low down and dirty. Does Christina have the strength to leave her husband? You don't deserve even the dirt on the bottom of her shoes. Don't miss the decision she makes about her marriage. If this is another context, me and you would have a situation. Mike, you had a confession that you wanted to share? Oh, oh, really? What is it? Christina, I got a confession to make about the girl I got pregnant. I actually got her pregnant on purpose. Oh. I can't this mess. I'm gonna tell you something, man. I'm gonna come out a little bit out of character right now. You low down and dirty. You low down and dirty. Not only... Not only do you sit here, uh, hold on, because I gotta get this out. Not only do you sit here and control this woman by taking away her phone, by manipulating her, by taking a woman who's in a vulnerable state and then using information about the fact that she can't have children or she's had her tube ties and then telling her that you've intentionally went and found another woman, that is low down beneath the earth dirty behavior. And I don't know what insecurities you have that has made you feel like you need to treat a woman like this, but you don't deserve even the dirt on the bottom of her shoes. <laughs> and then you say, and then, and then, and let me make sure I just heard that correctly. Then you said to her, you wish that the three of y'all can raise this child together? <laughs> you wanna, co come on now, I'm not even smiling with you, brother, because you, you trifling. You are trifling all the way through. For you to be able to sit here, what is going on? You have a woman. Listen, I'm, I'm glad you came back out here. This man is controlling you, you know it. it you have been emotionally abused. You have been manipulated. And, and I'm gonna tell you right now, and again, I'm sorry I gotta get out of character right now, but you know, when it comes to women who have been emotionally abused from me or physically abused, it gets under my skin. You are trifling and down Why? right dirty. You lucky for real, man. If this was another context and I know that I'm not related to her, me and you would have a situation situation. This is, and this is true. Uh, I'm gonna let you say what you need to say. I'm gonna let you say what you need to say, but. Five years, I deal with so much from you. Mm -hmm. Emotionally, everything. Tell us I am hurting, this hurts me. I don't deserve this, I deserve better than this. You go do that to me because I can't have children. I just can't. I just can't. Are you in this position right now for you to leave him? And I ask that question because I know sometimes we're in a situation where you had a man controlling you, manipulating you. Can I buy you a phone? Can, what can I do to support you so that you can get out of this? I need to get out of this because if I don't, I'm hurting myself. Yes. At the end of the day, I'm hurting myself. I know. I get it. That's why I'm asking you what resources. You can leave now. You trifling. You can leave. I don't need you on my stage. So what can I do to support you? What, what, what do you need? I, I do need a phone. You need a phone? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna buy you a phone. I'm gonna make sure we, I buy you a phone right now. So we're gonna give you some money so I can buy you a phone. What? Um, are, are, you, are you living together? Are you living together? Yes. Do you have the resources to be able to find a deposit to get out? You got the resource to get a deposit? I don't, I don't I'm gonna deposit. give you the resource to get a deposit so you can get some deposit. <laughs> And what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to make sure. Come here, let me give you a hug, baby. Come here, come here give me a hug. Come here, come here, come here. Come here, come here. I'm, I'm, I want to give you the resources so you can get what you need. You hear me? I want to give you the resources. Because I understand he. he oh, I don't he, deserve this. I don't deserve this. You don't this deserve sentence. it. You don't. I'm you a good it. woman. I know. I got I'm you. I'm a good woman. I'm I try you. my best as a wife. I'm with you. 
I'm with you. I'm with you. If the sad part is, and this is what happens, sometimes we give our hearts to the wrong man. Yes. And unfortunately, you gave, your, you, you, you gave your heart to a child. You gave your heart to a child who decided to use it like it was a yes. damn toy. But now, you're talking to a man who's going to help you and support you, all right? I'm not a little boy. I got you, sister. I got you. 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 You do deserve better. You do deserve better. All right, thank you for being with us, friends. Make sure to come back next time so we can keep talking and we can keep growing. I love you all.